Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about an advanced grammar lesson. But before we do that, let's start with an important question. Neither she nor I blank going to the party tonight. The correct answer is am. Neither she nor I am going to the party tonight. To explain why the answer is am, let's start by talking about compound subjects. Compound subjects are two or more subjects joined together with the words like and, or, either or, and neither nor, to form a single subject in a sentence. Let's look at some examples. Jack and Lucy are best friends. In this sentence, the compound subject is Jack and Lucy. Either Tom or his brother has the tickets to the concert. Here, either Tom or his brother is the compound subject. Neither she nor I am going to the party tonight. So, in the initial question, neither she nor I is the compound subject. When we use compound subjects in sentences, it's important to make sure that the verb agrees with the compound subject in terms of number. When we have compound subjects joined together with or, either or, and neither nor, the verb needs to agree with the subject that is closest to it. For example, neither the teacher nor the student is happy about the test. Here, the verb is, agrees with the subject that is closest to it, which is the student. Let's see more examples of this rule. Neither the teacher nor the students are happy about the test. Neither the teachers nor the students are happy about the test. Neither the teachers nor the student is happy about the test. Keep in mind that in the last example, when the first subject is plural, some references suggest that using a plural verb is also acceptable and not considered incorrect. Neither she nor I am going to the party tonight. So, in the initial question, the reason we used am is that the verb needs to agree with the subject, I. Now, let's see more examples. Either Sarah or David has the keys to the car. Coffee or tea is the perfect way to start the morning. Neither the manager nor the employees were aware of the upcoming changes in the company policy. John or his sisters are going to visit their grandparents over the weekend. Neither apples nor oranges are available at the neighborhood grocery store. Either the beach or the park is a nice location for a picnic. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Goodbye and take care.